today AI is mostly machine learning and it, it's mostly, like most digital technologies, it's the opportunity to do things that we want done, whether that's in our social personal lives or in our workplaces or in our public services organisations. It's the opportunity to do those more effectively, more efficiently, to give better outcomes. I think there's huge opportunity in the intersection between AI and governance and we can see that the tools are helping us augment and uh, increase the output. As much as it opens up a lot of possibility and, and, and we're going to encounter a lot of risk, hopefully these risks will get more nations to collaborate and align, fostering you know, an era of very great returns and you know, a mid-future. What does that mean for us as human beings? I think it will make us more human. We can excel at being curious, empathic, teamwork, uh, and creating something that's much more inclusive with powerful tools. I look forward to it. Well, I think there are undoubtedly societal and economic issues that we need to deal with about uh, AI, and there needs to be some mechanism for a dialogue to both surface those issues and identify potential problems. So in the sense that we need some mechanism to agree on what the issues are and then what the solutions are, then yes, there needs to be something that does it. As an academic, I try to work on the bridging the gap between, uh, on the one hand, policy makers, on the other hand, uh, businesses, and then academics themselves. We try to really work together to make sure that our visions of AI in the future are aligned. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty on known, and, and quite understandably, people are worried about what the industry is called uh, artificial general intelligence, you know, the rise of the robots and so on. And I think that, that fear uh, holds back the, perhaps the more boring, narrow applications of artificial intelligence. So I think um, helping people to understand what's really going on, then that will help them form their own uh, well-informed uh, judgments about it. This is on the research side. On the deployment side, we will see much more deployment in the fields we have not seen so far. Uh, namely, it will be health sector, and it will be, it will be social sector, and it will be education. It will affect the sorts of jobs that there are in the future, and, and there are issues about AI doing things that nobody had quite predicted, you know, how to deal with that. So there are things that people need to talk about and understand and decide what levels uh, of uh, AI they're prepared to accept in their lives. What's the risk-reward benefit they're prepared to accept? And, and we will see a new uh, AI applications uh, to be used to open current skills of people around the field. And, 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 and this, this will of course create different disturbances on, on, on the labour market and we will see how we deal with it.